Everyone, it's me, the Dr. Pepper Guy. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the demo for Neo the Wolfless with you. Since we got the demo a few days earlier, I did play the date drop, but now since I'm free to talk about it, I got my setup and everything. I'm going to talk about everything I wanted to with this demo because, man, that was a promising ass demo. That was a really good demo. I had a great time with it. It just ticks so many boxes right. It's insane. Like, I. It's it, it takes so many boxes right to the point that I can't think of a negative. Like I really can't. I really can't think of anything that I didn't like about the game. Anything I felt like, oh, they need to work on this on the full game, or oh, this looks like a problem that like, it's gonna play the game. I had none of that. I had none of that. I can't even say anything like I can't give out any pro any, sorry, I can't give out any cons about it, bro. It is insane. Like, wow. So first off. Let's just talk, let's talk about how newcomer friendly this demo feels. Because like, like the last time we got a huge like implode on, on Neo, uh, they told us that you don't need to play the original game to enjoy this one. You can totally hop on this one without any prior knowledge whatsoever about the ones with you. Like uh, they they said like of course it'll be like a nice little bonus if you did play the original game, but you don't need to. It's not a requirement. And playing the demo, it does feel that way. It does feel Super newcomer friendly. Everything they tell you, it doesn't feel like you need a, uh, prior knowledge in order to enjoy or actually to uh, make sense of what is happening. But also because I feel like the characters themselves are trying to understand, like, make sense of what the fuck is going on. I feel like that, that I mean, even that plays out very well. And also another thing I really well, found that was, thought that was neat was when you do as someone and you know a certain character and ask them what is the noise the explanation they give you it's actually the explanation they give you in the secret report of the original game i thought it was pretty cool that they gave us that explanation of neo like that was pretty dope so yeah that that, that we got that out of the way first and foremost right like okay not first and foremost now i guess uh i guess first and foremost would be the whole newcomer thing sorry i'm a fucking mess <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. I just I, I just rely on making unscripted videos way too much. But yeah, the other thing I want to talk about is just how the spirit and the soul of the world in Street View, it's so intact here. It's insane. It's like the original never left. Honestly, like it, it's insane how much of its soul is in me. Who the world the dialogue the characters especially the music all of it feels like this game it didn't take a whole like you know it didn't it really doesn't feel like it has been a whole decade since the original game first dropped like it's insane how much of it they got it right because usually any continuation especially this one there's something that has been you know so long it usually it, it's like a shell of its former shelf it, it, sorry shell of its former self what the fuck? Uh, it, it's usually that. It doesn't have what makes the original special. It doesn't have the spirit of the original. This is a character, but this one captures it so, so well. But at the same time, it's not the same one, same old. It's, it has, you know, at the same time, it feels refreshing. And it's great. And talking about refreshing, even the music, the music is great. Not only do we have remixes of old songs that we've heard in the original, we also have a fair amount of new stuff all of it just like feels like they, it feels so well balanced it doesn't feel like i've heard more old stuff than new stuff or the other way around it really just feels perfectly balanced and i'm really pleased with that because the last game which made me feel like oh there's a really good balance of old you know old tracks and new tracks although it's final fantasy on remake and neo dolan's with you looks like it's gonna go down the same path it's great man and now that we talk about that story um in the story there's not much to go off on since in this demo we don't we, we just went through the we, we, i mean i think we're we're still going through the whole introduction phase of the story and the and when the demo like you know in day two of the reverse game they go off like oh something interesting is going to happen like you know but they in day two it feels like they're the setup part this is going to be where they started to build up the story more and more and more uh that's when they cut it off yeah, they cut it off in day two. And actually, the, the demo feels was felt longer than it was supposed to. When they told us it was the opening chapter, I thought it was just going to be the intro in day one, but it was actually longer than that. I'm glad. It, uh, I'm glad, and it, the length was really solid. But yeah, in fact, what I think. Story, not much to go off on. Characters. Bro. Okay, I said myself, expected myself to like the characters, but not to this degree. But not, to, like, I didn't expect myself to enjoy the character dynamic and the dialogue this early in the game just in like, like 
from the start it's so enjoyable and the whole party is not even together yet like it's just rindo and fred like for the most of the demo it is rindo and fred you do get show but nagi's not there shoka like you do have a little bit of a dynamic with her but it's more of the more of the you know the reaper player dynamic not like the party member dynamic but so far their dynamic also seems interesting but yeah it's that night enjoying it it's and that doggy was gonna join before show did but um i guess i was wrong so the bro like also fred i didn't expect myself to like fred this much i, I thought it was gonna be like all right fine whatever type character but yeah fred was really cool arena was just as good as i expected both <laughs> Man, both of their interactions and everything, how they bounce off of different characters was just really enjoyable, really fun. The characters were great, especially Show. You know, you already know how Show rolls, so I don't need to elaborate any further on that. So, with Show, already, with Show, it's yeah, the dynamic's great. I can't wait to see more of it. We're just gonna have like what 49 more hours, like 49 more hours of this, possibly even like 100 hours of this if you indulge yourself in side content like bro <laughs> yeah i'm in i'm in like you, you, it's just enjoyable and you just have three party members in your team now and the third one doesn't feel as involved as the other two i mean he's there for a good bit his screen doesn't is clearly there for a good amount but it's, it doesn't feel like he's there there you feel me but yeah it's they nail the characters dude they nail the characters they nail the style of the game like i already talked about you know the soul and spirit of it the style of the game it translated so well to 3d like you could already you could also see it in the trailers how well it translated to 3d but actually playing it and actually seeing you know actually being in control of the game or the demo of the game and then going through it and seeing how well it translated from the scanning it's 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 great it's it's great in all honesty and it was something amazing to see and i'm still i thought i processed it processed it completely but now the more i'm talking about it the more i'm like oh i didn't process jack shit at how great it was so yeah um man i'm very pleased with those things so now we went on and on about the style soul characters and whatnot and what about the gameplay man shit now we have a new control scheme you know because i mean i i feel like the the launch of is known for uh, having like newer control schemes because in ds we had um a control like you know a control system that utilized both the ds screens and the ds and then in the phone touch screen switch you also hide the touch screen but you also you can also use joy con if you got go up and all that uh, but in Neo, you you know you have a new control scheme, which is, which utilizes the buttons. Um, of, of, you with your controller, obviously you can use the usual like touchscreen and all that since you since it's even also on PlayStation and also coming to PC. But yeah, um, this new control scheme feels like a godsend. It feels like the combat, in my opinion, feels more satisfying and more fun than the original. Like, bro, like in the first battle alone i felt like oh i'm already having a lot more fun with this combat than i did in the original or at least in the starting part of the original like you know they really got down the whole cross combos thing it's like even when you have control of a different character uh like the ai doesn't seem terrible at all like Man, the combat, it's so far, it's its great, it's fun, and like, um, and from what I've seen, from what, how they're talking about in the tutorials, it feels like there's still more to come with the combat, there's still more, so I'm, I'm excited for it, I'm excited for how, how well they're gonna go, that, also, I wanna talk about the UI, bro, bro, that thought, when you go to the menu and you go to the thought section, the split, the sprites and the thought and the pin section is what makes it for me. I'm just like, this is, I love it. <laughs> like, it's great. It's just great, dude. Like, the, you know, so yeah, gameplay, they got it right. I also liked how they gave you like different markers on where you're supposed to go. In mean, the original, they don't really give you markers. Uh, if you wanted to know where you want to go, you usually had to like stop for a bit. And when you know uh, your character, when you can talk to your other, you know your other character, your partner, sorry, 
Um, that's when they give you like where you're supposed to go and then you go there. But now they just not like all right, here's a marker. You go there, da da da, all that. So uh, I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think shit because it, it was. It was honestly a very very good time. Like a very good one hour, and, and I'm just excited to how the whole game is gonna be. I'm even more excited in how good the whole game is gonna be. It was, it was genuinely really good. It was just, like I can't not repeat myself on thing how good it was. Like that's how much I enjoyed the uh, demo. In all honesty, the end dog. Uh, and the dialogue was great and also yeah uh, the whole new kind of the newish style of how you know the different dialogue scenes was also pretty dope how they did it was really really cool like you know uh also like, this time we have voice acting in different dialogue scenes. of course you have your non voice acting dialogue but also a you know honestly for me it feels like the non voice acted scenes felt as enjoyable as the voice actor ones where it, it felt just as immersive i didn't feel like i was losing anything there like other games let's say persona or like you know where certain dialogue scenes were voice acted and then you have dialogue scenes that were not voice acted you could feel kind of like you know a difference in quality kind of but this one nothing like that maybe it's because i'm more accustomed to the, how the original was where you had no voice acting for most of the game the only time you had voice acting was with the more animated Cutscenes, so yeah. Um, honestly, that's all I wanted to talk about in the demo. God, I'm not, I'm not made, I didn't make it so drawn out, but yeah. What did you think about the demo? Did you play it or should you get on it? Just like, I know y'all don't comment. I, you all can't comment to my videos to save your life. I mean, some of you do appreciate that, but I would love for more of you to comment down below. Also, if you know, the subscribe and like button are free they're free you have nothing to lose i have everything to gain so go ahead do it well in front of the book but like on too i mean it's optional but i'm just saying it's a suggestion you know so yeah um stay, um stay tuned for whatever content i might do um, even though i'm very slow at it <laughs> uh make sure like yeah i already told you what to do what y'all think of neo the one that you with the demo are you gonna cop it am i gonna cop it Psst, listen bro i already pre-ordered the playstation and the switch version before being even heard of a demo so <laughs> you already got your answer there so yeah let's, i want to hear your thoughts on it unless it's a bad take just go for it if it's a bad take i'm probably going to tell you but yeah <laughs> and also tell me how you uh, how was the anime adaptation since um it ended recently right let's go crazy with that, with that i'll take my leave i'll see you all later peace